laser sights are an essential firearms training tool, clearly correcting and improving the two most important shooting fundamentals, aiming and trigger control. Crimson Trace, making laser sights standard equipment. Learn more at crimsontrace.com. This is Tom Gresham's Gun Talk, now available on iTunes and other podcast clients and on the free Gun Dealio smartphone app for iPhone and Android. Feel free to call Tom now at 1-TOM-TALK-GUN or 866-825-5486 or email Tom at GunTalk.com. Now, once again, here's Tom. All right, welcome back to Gun Talk. 866-TALK-GUN is the magic number here. I'm Tom Gresham. We're talking about... Well, 2017 is pretty much in the rearview mirror, and we're looking at 2018. What's it mean for gun owners? What's it mean for politics? And what's it mean for you? Is there a a plan, something that you maybe should be looking at? Are there opportunities out there for you this year? Well, to talk about that, because he's the guy that we go to on all this kind of stuff, Johnny Dury joins us right now from Dury's Gun. Hey, Johnny. How are you, sir? I am well. So um, now you just got back from the, the Rock Island auction out there, and you're kind of seeing a trend. We're in a, a weird or interesting place right now, aren't we? We are, we are in a very weird um, place right now and trying to figure out where the new normal is. But you know, we saw some guns that um, there was just some super buys on. Um, I saw a Winchester Grand American 28410 set. Um, that was finished by Connecticut Shotgun, but still with real Winchester barrels and and um, engraving and all of that on it. Mm-hmm. Brought twenty six thousand dollars or so uh, after you put the buyer's premium on it, and those guns were forty five, fifty, fifty five thousand dollars five years ago. Holy cow! So you know, and then we and then we saw some other guns. I saw some upgraded Parkers that brought crazy money. So. You know, it, I think there is some places out there that if you're paying attention with it, I think there's some super investment uh, times going on right now, especially with the oil business starting to try to recover some. Mm-hmm. Um, we're seeing some guys that just um, putting their money back into their companies, and um, they're just not buying those, I don't know, five to thirty thousand dollar guns i think there's just some some super buys in there right now i mean are you talking about this would actually be a place where you could uh, make an investment if you said i've got ten thousand dollars that i was going to put into savings or 20 grand or whatever i could put it into one of these and sit, sit on it for five or ten years i don't even think it'll take that long time i think a couple of years would be plenty um two or three years max on them and i think you can make if you couldn't make 15 or 20 percent on your money in three years, I, I mean, I think that would be pretty easy with it. And, you know, it just beats, you know, the stock market is so high right now. There's there's only a limit of that thing uh, mm-hmm. being that high till we start seeing some correction in it. Right. And, um, you know, you know, you want to you want to buy when it's cheap and sell when it's high. And mm-hmm. yeah, there's just some there's some great investment guns out there right now. If you were advising somebody who said, I've never been a gun collector, but I'm interested, I hear what you're saying, what would you be looking at? I would be looking at pretty shotguns. I'd be looking at mid-price, high-condition Winchesters. Uh, you know, just every everything in high condition, um, high condition, but um, Winchesters that would be, you know, four to six thousand dollar guns mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. i think some of the best buys are in the shotguns i think there's some super buys on belgium brownings right now in the in the super pose i think if you ever were going to get into some of the english shotguns um i think there's some steals in english shotguns right no kidding. now mm-hmm. i think there's some deals in some of the um third generation colt single action especially stuff that came out of the custom shops that had some um, specialty things done to them, some um, some uh, pearl grips, ivory grips, um, some mm. of those different guns that they came with factory like that that are documented where you could still deal with the ivory with it. Uh, I think some of those guns are some super buys right now. You know, the World War II military guns, I think there's some good buys in there too. Ah. 
Now, that's the kind of thing. I mean, you do that. You shop for people. You have clients who say you know, they're always looking, and you go to these places and you find things. So if somebody said, you know, Johnny, I, I want to do this, but I don't know what to look for, can they just kind of hook up with you and you'll just give them a holler and say, look, I found something for you? Sure, and I, and most of everything that I do there is is bought that way for customers. What we do is we sit down and we talk about you know, for one, if you're going to invest your money in something, you need to invest in something you like. If you like Old West cowboy type mm-hmm. guns, well, there's mm-hmm. no use in me trying to sell you a good buy on a pretty side by side English shotgun. Right. You know, so the first thing I do is if you're going to do collecting and you're going to do investment grade guns, let's pick what you like and let's find you some high condition, um, you know, desirable guns that we can get a good buy on. Hmm. So that's the first thing we do. And then we sit down and we talk about, you know, kind of how much do you want to invest a month with it. But the problem, I mean, I have a guy that's come in and say, I want to spend $10,000 a month with you. Well, you know, that's fine, but we may need to, we may hit you at forty or 50000 the second or third month in and have to, you know, because those collections that come like that, if that's what you're going to collect, a lot of times it would be you were getting two or three or four or five guns oh, from one person, and then, and then we just have to lay off of you for three or four months. Right. And the thing is, you can't say, well, I'll just go get that next month, because when it's available, it's available, and then next week it may be gone. You know, it was it's funny that John Gangle that ran Little John's auctions, I used to go to his auctions a lot, um, He'd tell, when, when he said that a gun was too cheap, he would say it like this. He goes, you could take the price of that gun and put $10,000 in travel expenses on top of it, and you'd never find another one like it. So, you know, <laughs> buy the gun. Buy the gun. You know, you're right. When you find the one you want and it's a good deal, buy the gun. You know, assuming you're not mortgaging the house and putting the, the kids out in the cold, you know, buy the gun. And the deal is, is you have to be ready right now because those deals that are like that, they don't last very long. So, you know, you get investors that do that as in anything else. If, you know, you just have us on watch for them, and we do, we do it with a lot of customers, hmm. um, is are you ready? I'll, I'm here at this auction, and this thing's going to go. Be on the phone with me, and let's see where it does. If we buy it uh-huh. cheap, fine, and if not, no big deal. Right. Um, but, you know, I made some super buys on some guns, and then some guns I thought I was going to get, they just went through the roof. And I said, you know, I, I work for the customer with it and go, it's too high. There's, it doesn't make sense on that one, and I right. passed on some and, great guns. And part of the deal is you have to be able to walk away from them, don't you? You have to be able to walk away from them, but you got to have somebody there. you got to have somebody there that knows what they're looking at. Right. And it's buying on your behalf. That's not my area. I would never know. But, you know, you know, I'm the, you're the guy I call. <laughs> I said, Johnny, what do you think? Because that's what you do. As you say, day in and day out, that's your job, man. That's right. You know, it's, uh, you know we charge a small finder's fee for that stuff to do it. But there, there's so many people there that respect us so much, and we respect them. If we're bidding on a gun or they're bidding on a gun, we give them some space on it. They know you and me and another one of the dealers going back and forth on one and running a gun up to some unrealistic number that we never could do again. So, you know, there's a lot of respect factor on that there when you have somebody that's that's buying on your behalf. To, you know, we charge a 10% finder's fee on that, but I guarantee you we save you more than that by, you know, the other people there that, you know, I don't mind going against the rest of the world, but I don't want to go against my friends on us. On a sure. You, you, uh, you guys have got to work together, and you're going to make room for somebody else. If he has to have it, he's going to allow you room. Yeah. Well, that's right. There's no use in us having a list of guns together and just beating each other up over it. It doesn't. It doesn't make for good friendships, and it runs. It runs guns up to some artificial prices. I mean, again, I don't mind going against the rest of the world, but um, you know, mm-hmm. a lot of times we'll be having the same customer, and I know you us bidding the gun up to try to sell it to the same customer. <laughs> right, exactly. You're right. Oh, Johnny, I, I know you, you had a, a great Christmas. You got the family out. You did some hunting. We, we did. We, we, we had took a, an old uh, Winchester 32 special half-round, half-octagon barrel that I found in a store in San Diego and got a nice buy on it, and I killed a 176-inch 11-point with it this year. And Holy just cow. had just had a big time with that. <laughs> uh, so just you know, kind of doing it some old school with it um, as we have in the past. So, yeah, we've had a good time with it. We're, we're anxious to see what 2018 is going to bring. It looks mm-hmm. like um, looks like the slow season is going to um, 
continue on for a little while into into right. January. I, I think so. But, if, you know, we all have our fingers crossed that uh, business starts picking up in the firearms industry in 2018 because we sure had a, a slow one. At least a lot of folks had a slow one. We had a, we had a so we were lucky that a lot of the uh, companies were down pretty big numbers with it. Um, mm-hmm. The company that owns Remington Beast Outdoors was down 61%. Mm-hmm. Uh, American Outdoors that did Smith and Wesson was down fifty three, and Ruger was down twenty. We were we were pretty fortunate to only be down seventeen. Um, so you know we, we we were fortunate in there compared to the rest of what a lot of the dealers were, and and a lot of it came through of just you know having good customers that trusted in you and uh, finding some good gun collections in the used market just pulled us through. Well, you know, your your business has always been based on reputation and relationships. Yeah, it sure has. You know, it's it's interesting. I, uh, I was reading an article yesterday about how high gun sales were um, on Black Friday, the highest ever on them. Mm-hmm. And it looked like all of that was because of super deals from the manufacturers. And right. they were talking about it. It was they were too cheap not to buy. Mm-hmm. And that the analysts were talking about how that's going to pull some of the sales from 18 or the people that would have bought it in the first quarter or so and 18 bought it early just because it was too cheap and right um so you know we're kind of looking to where that new normal is and that we really don't we really don't know where it is but we're just going to stick to our to our game that we know well and control inventory and keep costs down and you know, we'll be okay with it. Yeah, you do it well. Well, I'll be hollering at you. Like I said, uh, we're going to be getting together in the next couple of weeks because i got to get some guns out of the safe so I can talk to you about getting some of those collectible guns. Because I, I want to go from uh, a bunch of uh, less expensive guns to a very few nicer guns that will hold their value. Well, it's a perfect time to take regular sellable guns that everybody's looking for that the market's still strong on and upgrading those collections to some stuff that you always wanted. And as you get up in the up in the ages where your kids are out of school and and you're not having to pay college tuitions anymore and all <laughs> right, that, you, right. but you have some guns, it's time to get some nice ones, and we can help with all of that. We'll trade you out of the stuff that you're not using and just upgrade those collections as we go. Sounds good, Johnny. Look, best to you and the whole family for 2018. Have a safe New Year's. Thank you so much, Tom. I appreciate you. All right. You take care. Johnny Dury from Dury's Guns at Dury'sGuns.com. We'll be back in just a minute with more gun talk. It's America's favorite 22 rifle. No matter how, where, or what you like to shoot, there's a Ruger 1022 for you. From the carbine to the incredible takedown models, the tactical and target versions, all Ruger 1022 models have a legendary action and detachable 10 round rotary magazine. Whether you're hunting squirrels or tin cans, there's a lifetime of fun in every Ruger 1022 rifle. See them all at Ruger.com. That's Ruger.com. For 36 years, the U.S. Sportsmen's Alliance has been fighting to protect hunting, fishing, and trapping for sportsmen from coast to coast. Today, we are under constant attack from extremist animal rights groups who want to end your ability to hunt in the U.S. Join us to protect our sporting heritage and our way of life outdoors. To join or for more information on how you can help, go to ussportsmen.org. That's ussportsmen.org. You got your carry permit. And that's good. But do you know you could use more training? Get the DVDs, which have what you need. Springfield Armory presents Concealed Carry 1 and Concealed Carry 2 with Bata Group. Learn specific concealed carry skills from top gun fighting trainers. Get trained. Be prepared. This really is life and death. ShopGunTalk.com That's ShopGunTalk.com Now you can own a brand new revolver with roots in the 1800s. The astounding North American Arms Ranger II. A break action, five shot, 22 Magnum mini revolver. Inspired by the Schofield Smith & Wesson of the 1870s, this seven ounce Magnum revolver is fun to shoot and easy to carry every day. Historic style, high tech, pocket precision. Check out the new top break Ranger II at NorthAmericanArms.com. NorthAmericanArms.com. Hey, 
I think uh, I think the gun makers were sitting on a whole bunch of gun ideas uh, through 2015, 2016, and frankly, didn't have to bring them out because they were selling everything that they already had in the inventory, and they couldn't keep anything in stock. And then when sales stopped, and pretty much just did when Trump was elected in 2017, they had to bring out new guns. Said, Ooh, we got to prime the pump. We got to get things moving here. And and Johnny Dewey, you just heard the numbers and the sales are down. Uh, and they are bringing out new guns. I'm just looking at some of the ones that Ruger just announced this past week or so. This one's interesting. A new 9mm pistol from Ruger is called the Security 9. I guess the first thing is it's MSRP is 379 on it. 15 round double stack magazine, uh, Security 9. It is, it's in essence, an affordable full size double stack 9. From Ruger, pretty interesting. Um, it does have a uh, manual safety, and it is striker fired. Let's see here: aluminum chassis, full length guide rod, blued through hardened alloy steel slide and barrel. It says in a high performance glass fill nylon grip frame with an integral accessory rail. And it's also available in a ten round version if uh, you live in one of those states. Let's see: uh, features a four inch barrel. Uh, 23.7 ounces with an empty mag. Pretty interesting. Security 9. New pistol from Ruger. By the way, our number is 866-TALK-GUN. If you'd like to join us. In fact, we're pretty much open lines. Pretty much anything you want to talk about. It's the end of the year. We're talking about the guns you like, the guns you hate, uh, something that you like to buy, or even just uh, a thought. Or You know what? If you just want to share a story, that's okay, too, because that's that's honestly so much of what we do is just swapping story. I almost caught myself swapping lies. We don't lie. We embellish. <laughs> Never let the truth get in the way of a good story, right? 866-TALK-GUN. Lee's with us out of Tulsa on three. Lee, what you asking about here? Well, sir, um, I just want to know what your thoughts were as far as using a uh, bullpup as opposed to an AR-15 for home defense. I've been thinking about using an SBR, but <laughs> forgo the whole SBR NFA part. I could just get a bullpup which is shorter and has that 16 inch barrel already and mm-hmm. just curious well, to your thoughts on that in the Keltec rdb i was thinking about let, getting that one to the left let me let me throw out a third option and uh we did not have this uh until fairly recently uh and i see where you're going uh, something that's short uh maneuverable i get all of that let me, first of all let me back up what do you own now do you have a, either a bullpup or an ar i've got a Keltec. i'm sorry a uh a Colt AR-15 and LWRC AR-15, right? Now. Okay, so you've got a couple of ARs. Do they have 16-inch barrels? Yes, sir. Um, what you're going to find is if you put up, put one of those to your shoulder, the barrel is not going to stick out more than about two inches further than if you held a handgun out in two hands on two-handed grip. So you're really not giving up much in shooting that uh, that way. Uh, so right off the bat, you've got a pretty good option. But let me throw out this thought. Since you already have ARs and you're familiar with the AR platform, you know how to run it, an AR pistol with the shoulder, it's not a shoulder brace, it's an arm brace that, wink, 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 you know, you're not supposed to put to your your cheek, but you certainly, everybody does. Uh, Mm -hmm. Now you don't have NFA. Now you've got a 9 or 10-inch barrel. Uh, You can stick a can on there should you choose to. That's what I was really looking to do is put a can on it. See, that's, I'm thinking you go with one of these pistol ARs, probably even in 300 blackout, and put a can on it. And I, you know what I would do? I would stick a small red dot on it, and I would also stick a laser on it. And now I'm not terribly worried about the whole putting it up to the shoulder deal, because for what we're doing inside of a house for home defense, uh, that actually becomes a really interesting proposition. Okay. Okay, I mean, I'm just right. uh, thinking now. It, I mean, I've shot the bullpups, and they're fun and all of that, but since you're already conversant with the AR language, you know how to run it. Right. I would be leaning toward that. Uh, now you're getting everything you would be looking for in an SBR without the federal regulations and all that. So, I mean, I think that's a way to go. Yeah. All right? Okay. Appreciate Thanks, it, Lee. Thanks for the call. You bet. Matthew is on two out of Metairie, Louisiana. Matthew, uh, what's on your mind? Oh, well, Happy New Year. And uh, I uh, was listening to the show on the TuneIn uh, app, and mm-hmm. the station uh, that y'all were streaming 
from decided that I needed to listen to a hockey game. <laughs> and I don't want to listen to a hockey game. I want to listen to Tom. Well, we're working on that. Uh, I was wondering, have you thought about going and doing two, um, uh, YouTube, YouTube Live? Live? Yes. In fact, uh, we strange that you would interest, ask this. We have spent the last two weeks working on live video. We just invested a f- ton of money, a freaking ton of money, in live video production equipment and streaming uh, platforms. And within a week or two, we're going to start doing a lot of live video, which would also allow us to do uh, live audio. Working on that. We're working the bugs out and getting it all figured out. But we are going to be, and I guess I can go ahead and just tell everybody now, at SHOT Show, we're going to be doing uh, several times a day live video feeds from SHOT Show. And with Ooh. reports of what's going on there, we're going to have a morning show and an evening show of what you know happened during the day. Uh, we're going to have reports through the day with people coming in and showing us their new stuff. I mean, live. I mean, this will be live. You can actually make comments. You can ask questions of people who are on there, and we will answer them with live video. And this will be on uh, Facebook and on YouTube as well. So uh, it's pretty interesting where this is all going. The whole live video production, you basically become a network in and of itself. And so uh, you're right on the money, Matthew. That's where we're headed. And as they keep telling me, I need to be doing the radio show with live video. And I'm going, no, no, no. Then I actually have to, you know, like put on a decent shirt because radio is perfect for my wardrobe, man. I got to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't have to uh, have a shirt. Yeah, a yeah, we do. Yeah, we're going to have to do that. <laughs> Get out of this old grody sweatshirt. <laughs> I appreciate it. Uh, thanks for the thought and for allowing me to make that announcement. Yes, uh, you you absolutely want to go sign up and uh, like our Facebook page. You'll get the announcements because we're going to be doing a bunch of live video with the latest reports from the SHOT Show. And Facebook and our YouTube channel are going to be the best way to go. So you can see all of our videos there right now. Go to YouTube and Facebook. Look for Gun Talk Media. 866-TALK-GUN. We're open lines. Join us. Gun Talk encourages you to support the local sporting goods store, gun stores, ATV dealers, and other local businesses in your area who advertise on this station and Gun Talk. Only together can we protect our rights. You're listening to Washington Times Opinion Page regular contributor Tom Gresham. Oh, yeah, we're still talking about guns. You can't make a stop. We're just going to keep talking about guns as long as, well, forever, basically, because we like them. They're challenging. They're interesting. They're fascinating. They're mechanical implements. They're full of history. They're difficult to master, which makes them challenging, which makes them fun. And oh, yeah, by the way, you can uh, compete with them, you can hunt with them, and you can save your life with them. So what's not to like? But if you don't like guns, that's okay. You don't have to. But honestly, if you're one of the people who says, you know, I hate guns, I hear that now and then. I hate guns. How do you hate something? I mean, how do you, it's like saying, you know, I hate silverware. It's just a thing. I mean, I don't understand it. If you can explain it to me, give me a call. If you're, if you qualify, if you say, hey, I just hate guns. I don't get you guys. Hey, give me a call. I'll I'll move you to the front of the line. We'll give you the floor for a little while. And you can explain to me why you hate guns. Our number is 866-TALK-GUN. All righty. Let's see here. Um... Line one, Rich, in Little Rock, Arkansas, looking for something here. Rich, what are you shopping for? Well, uh, at the beginning of our last uh, president's time in office, I purchased Mm -hmm. a handgun, and I got a Glock 40. Um, I'm not a – I don't use it because I don't feel comfortable with it. That two-stage trigger, I'm just used to a regular safety. Uh, It was challenging at the time to find ammo, so I got what I could. So I've got, you know, plenty of ammunition. I don't want to just – you know, swap out for something else, have to rebuy all the ammo. I'm looking for something that shoots a 40 Smith & Wesson that mm-hmm. has maybe a traditional safety on it in a in a handgun, something, I don't know. 
When you say a traditional safety, you mean a thumb safety? Yeah, something like that where, I, you know, I can say, oh, the safety's on, oh, the safety's off instead of, you know, I'm if I'm not comfortable with the gun, I don't think I'm going to use it as much. Okay. So I think I'd, I'd be more comfortable with a, with a thumb safety. Okay, I'm going to go two ways with you, and you have to bear with me. One is I can help you find a gun that's going to do the, what you want, but I'm going to also tell you, you are trying to p- apply a product solution to a training issue. Sure. The, re- the reason you're not comfortable with your gun is not because there's not a thumb, thumb safety on it. It's because you're not competent with your gun yet. Okay. It's as simple as that. If you were to go out, let me ask you, how many rounds have you put through that gun? Oh, probably two dozen. That's all. Yeah. If, when you get to 2,000, you won't ever even think about a thumb safety. The reason that you are concerned is because you're hoping the thumb safety will keep you from shooting yourself. Right? Yep. You're okay. right. I, I know. I know where we are. It's not a shortcoming of you. It's just a shortcoming of the training. What you need to do, and I'm serious about the number, you need a thousand rounds through that gun, and you need, and this is the most important part, this is the most, the most important thing I'm going to say to you today, is you must, must, must go take a self-defense class. I mean, not a concealed carry class. I'm talking about a class where you're going to shoot 500 to a thousand rounds in the course of the class, drawing, moving, and shooting, and you draw and you move and you shoot. You do it over and over, and you realize that the safety is just a thing. Uh, what keeps you from shooting yourself is keeping your finger off the stupid trigger. Sure. Okay. Now. Okay. Uh, and that's the most important thing, if the because uh, the Glock's a very nice pistol. However, if you said that's all great, Tom, but I still want a thumb safety. Cool. All right. Fine. They make them. Um, there are a number of options out there. One, I think you might want to take a look at. First of all, do you like the feel of the Glock in your hand? I do. I like it a lot, and I like the, you know, almost indestructibility of it. I can drop it in the dirt and grind it around, and, you know, it's not going to have a problem most of the time. <laughs> yeah, there's a reason we call it combat Tupperware, you know. Sure. <laughs> uh, take a look at Smith & Wesson's M&P 2.0. They've got a brand new one called the M2.0. They have a forty caliber, and it has an external thumb safety. And the thing I like about this one is it has a real thumb safety that's up there where it ought to be. Sometimes when they put a thumb safety on a striker-fired gun, it's a little afterthought. But this one feels the way a, a thumb safety does on a 1911 pistol so that you really can sweep it down and you can sweep it back up. But I'm just going to tell you, before you do that, and, and I'm a big proponent of Smiths. I think they make great products. But I'm going to really suggest you're going to have the same issue with the new gun that you have now. You may feel like you are safer, but you are not. Sure. You just have thrown one other thing in in the mix. In the way, how yeah, much, sure. When you, when, you, when you say you've got a lot of ammo, how much ammo do you have? Oh, uh, I don't know, four or 500 rounds, not a ton. Okay, yeah, it's not a ton, but it'll get you going. Um, uh, I'm just going to suggest you need, and the, the number 1,000 is a bare minimum. When you get to 1,000 rounds shooting that gun, you won't even think about it because every time and the whole thing is when you pick the gun up, your right index, you shoot right handed. Yes. Your right index finger must be, needs to be along the slide, not across the trigger guard, but up laying on the slide of the gun. Every time you pick it up and then if you're going to put it in a holster, when it goes back in the holster, your finger is straight along the side of the slide. When you take it out, your finger is straight along the side of the slide. Every time, every time, every time. And you do that a thousand times, problems are going to be take care, taken care of. Now, you can still go get an M&P. You can still go get a pistol with a, a thumb safety on it. But that, again, is not going to keep you safe. It is your actions, your behavior that's going to keep you safe, okay? Makes total sense. I really appreciate it. Absolutely. Good luck with it, Rich. I thank you for the call. Uh, yeah, quick break here. We've got, let's see, we've got Dean, we've got George, we got Bill. We still have room for you if you'd like to join us. 866-TALK-GUN. You guys stay on the line. We're going to be getting to you when we come back. I'm Tom Gresham, and this is Gun Talk.
for legendary Mossberg reliability. In a compact package, without the requirement of NFA paperwork, look for the Mossberg 590 Shockwave. Now available in both 12 and 20 gauge. These pump action firearms feature a 14 inch barrel, a bird's head pistol grip, and a length just over 26 inches. Check out the Shockwaves at Mossberg.com. Mossberg. American built, American strong. Arm yourself with Mossberg. Perhaps more than any other landscape, wetlands embody the life-giving abundance that nature has to offer. And perhaps more than any other organization, Ducks Unlimited is working to ensure that our continent's wetlands not only survive, but thrive for generations well beyond this one. The time is now to band together the time is now to rescue our wetlands. Crimson Trace announces the revolutionary link, the world's first wireless laser and white light system. Combining a green laser at 300 lumen light with instinctive activation for AR type modern sporting rifles. Link offers wireless control of the laser and light from the ergonomic replacement grip, eliminating the need to reach for the rifle's forend. Link, smart, simple, Secure. Available now. Visit CrimsonTrace.com to find a dealer near you. If you're like me, you don't have money to burn, but you still want to buy guns, ammo, and accessories. That's why we created Gun Dealio. That's a free, yes, a free smartphone app. Just download it and start getting the deals. Could be discounts, offers of free magazines for your gun, or you could be the first to hear about new stuff from gun makers. Here's how it works. With Gun Dealio on your phone, you get alerts when you enter a gun store. Special deals, you know. You don't have to do a thing. It'll do a lot of other cool things, like let you watch gun videos and listen to Gun Talk podcast. Plus, check it anytime for hundreds of deals and offers. Getting more while spending less. Smart, huh? Gun Dealio. Made in America, gluten-free, at the App Store and Google Play or gundelio.com. Nosler has been a leader in bullets and ammunition for decades and keeps growing with new product introductions that follow this tradition. Accurate, highly effective bullets and ammo for long-range shooting, precision rifle competition, and big game hunting. To be the first to hear about new product releases and promotions, follow Nosler on Facebook and Instagram and become part of the conversation. You won't settle, and neither will we. Nosler.com. All right, 866 Talk Guns get you in here. Let's see, a home invasion suspect wearing only underwear. What? <laughs> I'm not making this up. <laughs> Out of Cypress, Texas. A home invasion suspect wearing only underwear was shot and killed after sneaking into a pastor's home in Cypress, Texas. The suspect entered the home around, uh, well, it's about early in the morning, and attacked the pastor and his wife. As the intruder went room to room uh, looking for other would-be victims, he came upon an extended family member who was armed a uh, family member shot and killed the intruder, saving others in the home from coming under attack. And then there's this. I'm talking about all of these self-defense gun uses throughout the year in 2017. Uh, an armed neighbor in Ada, Oklahoma, came to the rescue of three children who were being drowned by their father. Cash Freeman was alerted to the situation when a terrified 12-year-old ran to his house to say the estranged father had taken the children from the mother and was trying to drown them. It gives me chills. Freeman arrived to find the father holding three-month-old twins, three-month-old twins, babies, underwater. Freeman shot the father twice, killing him and saving the children. People want to know, why do you carry that? I'm not trying to be the savior of the world. If I see somebody drown in two three-month-old babies, yeah, I'm going to shoot that SOB. We'll work out the details later. <sighs> Dean is in Frisco, Texas, on line four. Dean, what are you looking for here? Yep. Let's go, let, let's go to Bill in, on line two. 
He's in Georgia. Hey, Bill. Hi, how you doing? I'm great. All right. Tur- turn off your radio, uh, if you would, please. That's going to mess you up for sure. Oh, well, radio is off. All right, great. Um, I'm on my cell phone. Okay, go ahead. Uh, okay. I'm calling. Uh, my basic question is, I'm a paraplegic in a wheelchair. Mm-hmm. And I am looking for a good way to carry. Mm. I've seen a lot of things where people are attaching holsters to their wheelchairs, and I don't want to do that because my feeling is if somebody's going to mug me, first thing they're going to do is dump me out of my chair. Absolutely. You, you are you are right to be thinking about this. Um, we worked with... Um people in wheelchairs, uh, one police officer, Tommy Carnline, Carnline, he's a police officer out of uh, Pineville, Alexandria area in Louisiana. And we learned some interesting things. Uh, how do you carry, and, and your point is exactly right. What's the first thing you're going to do? They're going to dump over your wheelchair. They're going to throw you out, but get you on the ground, figuring, okay, now he's helpless, right? I mean, that's, that's where they're going to go. So you want to carry on your body. And I'm, I'm guessing, Bill, that's the real question is, What's the holster system? Uh, What kind of pistol do you have, or or what do you think about getting? Well, I have a Smith & Wesson Airweight 38. Okay. But I've been been thinking about uh, that Bursa, the uh, combat concealed carry Mm -hmm. double stack with uh, 12 rounds. So maybe what you think of that. Well, I mean, I think that's fine, but I think with your airway, you've actually got a pretty good tool right there for what you'll be doing. And I'm going to suggest three options for you, one of which I'm not crazy about. The one I'm not crazy about is a shoulder holster. Not real a fan of that, but I think a belly band, which is basically an elastic band that goes underneath your shirt, it has little pockets. Uh, you could shove an air weight in there. It would be brilliant. It'd be over either on your belly or actually, if you're right-handed, you would kind of carry it toward the left side, almost cross-draw-ish. But here's where I would go, and this is what Tommy does. He wears a regular belt holster, not inside the waistband, but outside the waistband, but just wears a shirt or some kind of a garment over it so it's concealed. And so he can just draw in regular fashion with a regular belt holster uh, and, you know, either from the chair or from the ground, either way, he can get that pistol out and, and get it on target. I think either a belly band or a regular outside the waistband holster would be where I would go. Uh, I would not feel at all bothered by having the air weight. Uh, I think that's not a bad choice in this case. Was there? Let me ask you, Bill, was there anything in particular that made you start thinking about this? Well, yeah, because I've been out a couple times and I haven't felt comfortable. I did try a fanny pack that I had, you know, pulled mm-hmm. around towards the front, mm-hmm. and I just found that that was just way too cumbersome. To it, when I'm sitting, I sit low in my chair, mm-hmm. and that sits too high. Yep. Uh, for, first thing I tried was a uh, was a little clip-on holster that I clipped on the wheelchair strap. That was below my my right leg because I'm a lefty. Mm-hmm. I figured I could just reach in and and grab that. Yeah. But uh, I don't like the idea of having the weapon on the chair and no. not on my person. Yep. No, it's too easy for you to be separated from your gun that way. And they are. That's what they're going to do. These are despicable people. They're going to come flip over the chair and they're going to rob you that way or do whatever they want to do to you. So I like the way you're thinking. Uh, just kind of work it out, but. Do th- take a look at a belly band option and then take a look at just a regular belt holster outside the waistband and just keep a shirt or a vest or something hanging out over it and that'll conceal it and you're good to go. That way, if you do, you can draw from the wheelchair, but if you get thrown out, you can still be on the ground. You can do ground fighting and you can do it that way. And the other thing is practice it. Get with an instructor who will work with you. Get on the ground and try it that way because you need to know how to maneuver around using your upper body to get that gun out. Uh, Good on you for taking responsibility for your own safety. 866-TALK-GUN. I'm Tom Gresham, and this is Gun Talk. Well, welcome. 
well, well, somebody got a gun for Christmas. We'll be talking about that in just a second. Hey, let's go to line three. George is with us in Jacksonville, Florida. Hey, George. Hey, Tom. Hey, Tom, hopefully you can give me some insight into this. Mm -hmm. Uh, I want to know what's the difference between uh, these premium AR-15s and, say, the more uh, value-oriented AR-15s. I've I've asked this question before to several people, and I kind of get a real vague answer. Other than just just great marketing, what's the difference? Well, the difference is about $2,000. Okay. <laughs> but I'm up. <laughs> uh, there you go. Yeah. It's, it's a lot of little things. Part of it is marketing, and you're uh-huh. exactly right. Uh, but they put – it's basically about the features, the accessories, the barrels, the quality of the barrels, uh, some of the parts they use, uh, that type of thing. But I will tell you – at the six hundred dollar level, you're not going to get a gun that is is decked out and has what you need as a twelve hundred dollar gun. But at the nine hundred dollar to thousand dollar level, you're starting to reach the point where you're going, okay, um, yeah. We always say that the last ten percent cost hundred percent more than everything, uh, mm-hmm. uh, and, and that's okay if you need it and you want it. But I would say shop carefully. Are you looking for your first AR now? Uh, actually, I picked up uh, an AR-15 from uh, Smith and Wesson. It was a uh, their Sporter two, mm-hmm. and, they, and it has, and uh, and it was like um, right around they they had it on a on a really big sale. Right, I paid about five hundred bucks for it. You know, so okay. I mean, um, I'm not this is not a rifle that I plan to go to war with, but you know. I want to use it for home defense, what have you, sure. that kind of thing. Okay, but here's the magic of the AR, and it's the part that is the, the coolest part of ARs altogether, is that you can make that whatever you want it to be. All the parts are easily detachable, down to the last screw and spring, uh, and they are, like, on your kitchen table. So if you say, well, I would really like to have a different charging handle. Cool, we'll put that on. I would really like to have a different grip and different uh, furniture, the plastic parts up front. Neat. I'd really like to have a different rail on it. Cool, we can do that. I'd really like to have a different barrel. Not a problem, we can do that. So from where you are, you can make it absolutely anything. And that's what I love about ARs. Okay, great. And if you had to take uh, any, say, brand A's uh, AR, and you wanted to upgrade that uh, AR for reliability's sake, what would you? What would be the first thing you did? I would lube the snot out of it and go shoot about a thousand rounds through it and call it happy. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> Sounds good to me. <laughs> okay, good deal. <laughs> have fun with it. You're gonna you're gonna have a ball, really. You are. Uh, let's see. Justin got him something for Christmas. What'd you get, Justin? Line one. Well, um, I actually lucked out this year. I got three revolvers for Christmas. Ooh, um, you're two, the revolver. Uh, two, yeah, oh, yeah, uh, big time. <laughs> I actually uh, was looking at my gun safe. I don't own a handgun that was designed in the last 100 years. It's all revolvers <laughs> and a 1911. Uh, <laughs> okay, what'd you get? Uh, yeah, well, I got um, two J-frames, yep. and I got a uh, Ruger Super Blackhawk and oh. a five-and-a-half-inch barrel nice. and a forty four Magnum. Yeah, and aren't aren't the, those wonderful? Oh, good Lord. I cannot believe the accuracy with it. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I roll my own loads and okay. uh, 20 and a half grains of uh, 4227 and a, a Keith bullet, 245 grains. Nice. And um, once I got them dialed in to my load, once I got the sights adjusted, mm-hmm. I was able to pop a soda can at 50 yards offhand. Isn't that unbelievable? I mean, and that gun just feels so good in the hands you got. A, I love that barrel length you got. You are to be congratulated. Uh, either somebody did it right or you told them right or you got it for yourself. Because that's the only way you're going to get one that nice. Way to go, Justin. Appreciate the call. And that's a great range report. Uh, single action revolvers. Yeah, nothing old-fashioned about them. Well, it is, but we think it's cool. And they shoot really well. Lots of fun. What did you get or what do you think about buying? 866-TALK-GUN. We are open lines. Wait for your call. Just give me a holler. Tom Talk Gun. <laughs> 